Hey guys, welcome back to the Weird Kid Show. I am your host, Dave, and today we've got Zombie Witch Haley. Stand up, show everybody your hair. She got a little string of purple hair. And so, this week is a continuation of the Apothecary Month. It was supposed to be August, but as we know uh, I, I, I worked way too much overtime, so I wasn't able to make a video last week. We did do the thousand subscriber mask giveaway though. Um, so this week we're going to work on the apothecary cabinet slash shelf or whatever. Alright, so what I wanted to do, uh, I found this. This here was one of those inserts that goes in an old trunk. I saw it on the side of the road and it's already got some awesome patina to it, but we're not going to leave it like this. Um, and you could use something like this too, just some wooden box that you throw together, uh, or you can make it out of cardboard. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what you make it out of. You can have it however many shelves you want. I decided to keep it like this uh, because I'm going to take the little shelf we made in one of the earlier episodes, and I'm going to attach it inside there so that we can put a little bottle or something there put some taller bottles here, something under here, and then fill this all in, okay? So, one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to paint it flat black. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to spray paint this whole thing flat black, all right? So I'm going to do that. So thank you guys for being here. Check this out. Just spray painted it. Okay, use some of that two times. Uh, all right, and uh, it's rough looking. What they did, you know, with those uh, old trunks, the the little inserts they put in them. They one of the things that they typically did back then is they put like a wallpaper type of material in there. Uh, and this here looks tattered. Um, it's got like boards cracked and stuff like that so in other words it's got personality it's perfect so what we're going to do Haley is I've got these creepy looking prints that I found off the internet these are like old medical uh, different diagrams and stuff like that okay and that's a cool one there and uh, let me see I'm going to pick, pick our favorite and what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out, and then I'm going to give Haley a paintbrush, okay, and then we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out and we're going to just start putting paint and Mod Podge on the back, and then putting these images on it in a uh, collage looking manner, and then we're going to coat the top, after it dries we're going to coat it with some more Mod Podge and seal it. And uh, this is something I've seen many people do before, uh, so it's not something new I'm teaching you. But uh, it's still fun and it's still, it still brings, it helps to bring uh, the whole scene together. So we're still on the scene guys with uh, Apothecary Design be it a witch, little witch uh, shelf or a mad scientist, could be used for mad scientist. Me, this is actually going to be a functional apothecary shelf because what I plan on doing is I plan on putting some of my materials in there. Are you excited? All right, look, you're gonna start, okay? So I'm gonna take this, Mod Podge, okay? You're gonna wanna sit up, I think. Get up on your knees. It's too high for you or too low for you. All right, so I'm gonna cut a few more images out. And it's simple, guys, really simple. And it doesn't have to be medical, you know. You could paint it black like I did, and then with a fine brush and some white paint, you could paint a, uh, a spider web on there. <laughs> You're such a big helper. Are you having fun doing this? 
other side. No, yeah, well, let's focus on this side first. Do this side first. Okay, so Daddy's going to put... Do this side. I'm going to put that image right there. And put the other So I just stuck it on there. All right, now, Haley, you can go ahead and uh, I'm going to put some more glue. And you paint the glue on top. And that seals it all in. And then it dries clear. That's awesome. Well, let me squeegee out a little bit on bubbles. Let's get it a little more even. But that's awesome. You did an awesome job, Haley. Thank you. She is such a good helper. Okay, where are we going to put the other one? I think... Look, I'm going to have to cut this one. Yeah, look, I'm going to stick it, too. You want to stick it? Yeah. Alright, first of all, we need to put some more glue down. Like that. Yep. And then we need to spread the glue around. Let's put some glue. Let's spread it around, Ailey. I'm good. You're good? Okay. Um, now... I'm stick it. Okay, you stick it. You want to put it there? There. Like that? Alright, let me pick it up for a second. Let's maybe overlap it a little bit over here. Good. Well, be careful. That's fine, too. Uh, she just, like, moved it and it, like, creased it. But that's not a big deal. Anyway, you might want to, like, okay, that's good, baby. And we're going to put some glue on top, like that. And then you can pick the glue on there. Yeah, spread it on there. Uh, you might want to... You know, whatever it is, just like the apothecary bottles, you might want to take some coffee and stain the paper. Uh, you might want to crumple it up. And, uh, I don't know my name. What, baby? You know my name. All right, let's put, stick it. Wait, be careful. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me put that there. Okay. All right, and then we'll put some more glue on top. And then just paint that on. Paint, paint, paint. Paint, paint, paint. And so now the thing to do once we get all this on is we're just going to want to let it dry. Hi, Teddy Bear Monster. Hi, Teddy Bear Monster. Uh, you probably don't see, but the teddy bear I've been working on over there in the corner. Yeah, we're making and, uh, it, but I'm so silly to get careful. You like it? All right, I'm going to put this one here. Oh, be careful. Just spreading it. And, uh... Haley is excited. She wanted to do the video with Daddy today. And we got but the keys. That's what I was just going to say. She's not going to let me forget no, it. I bought some, I uh, I a glue. one of those Halloween. Yeah, yeah okay. Me. All right, let's put it over here. Right. No, 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 that's enough because we're almost out. So you go, let's go ahead and spread that on. Um, so I bought one of those, uh, Halloween cookie kits today. Yeah, and we can make it in video. And she's super excited and about it. And I can put it on the video. And it's got, yeah, and you want to put it on a video? Yeah. It's got sprinkles and frosting, and they're like little pumpkins, so that's going to be fun. We don't have, we don't have any, we don't have any slushies anymore. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're done there, Haley. Uh, I'm going to go over here and see what we've got, what we can put down here. Oh, I like that one. That one's pretty cool. Now these are like, I think yeah. these, these were actually like taken oh, out, of a, out of a uh, medical journal Dad, and then uploaded. It, you want to stick it? Okay. We, you can stick it on there when I get it cut out. Okay? Oh, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Teddy bear. <laughs> you love the teddy bear? Paint that. Oh, I just pulled it out of here. You did it out of there? Sticky. It's really sticky. All right, now I'm gonna put this one in there. I wait, wait, wait! I gotta I'm put sticky. it. I gotta put it in a position first, and then you can stick it, okay, baby? All right, now push it down. Press, press, All right, press. now watch it. I'm gonna put the glue on top. Some people, I mean, you can if you want. You can uh, wait until it's all dry, and then put your top, final coat on there. It doesn't, for me, it's not a big deal. Uh, this is going to be, this could be used as an apothecary. Although, I bought the materials uh, for a big apothecary that's going to have the bottles. And I've got some other stuff I'm not going to give it away because it's a kind of a theme. Uh, but this could be used in conjunction with that. Um, this one here, I'm going to, we'll see. We can see you later. Um... But you can do whatever you want, however you want. 
So we're gonna spread that around, right? Where's your paintbrush? There's your paintbrush. Yeah, I want to stick it. Yeah, you're gonna stick it, but uh, all right, I gotta get another some more paint. Yeah, you gotta stick it. I'm just for daddy. All right, wait. Let me do this. And I'm going through quite a bit of Mod Podge on this, but that's okay. I've been buying these little tiny bottles at the Dollar Tree. They're pretty cool. You can't get them for a dollar. Oh no! Look on your hand! Silly girl. That's funny. Oh, you put some on me too! Yeah. Ah. Oh, now we got glue all over it. Okay, alright, let's stop. Let's, let's put some on here, okay? All right, let me put, I got glue all over me. Haley's me crazy too. and she's attacking me with glue. Me too. Yeah, all right, let's see. All right, wait, okay, let me put it in a position and you can push it down, okay? okay? All right. Okay, push it down. Press. I got a towel here. All right, so you're gonna wanna to wipe the glue off for him. We're gonna go wash our hands after. All right, so now I'm going to put some more glue on top of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now take your paintbrush, and we need to push that down and get a good color on there and seal it all in. Now, you could even go back and, like, uh, rub little areas and, like, uh, wear it down to where it's... Uh, you start getting like little tears and holes and stuff in it. Yeah, That's, uh, that can add to home. the aesthetics of uh, what you're Dad, trying to don't do. Go home. What, baby? Don't go home. Oh, okay. All right, so I got one more. I like this one. That's pretty yeah, cool. That's my favorite. That's your favorite one, Haley. Where are you going, baby? I need help over here. I need to decide to get you. Where are you going? Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, you gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. All right, so our host has to go tinkle. And that's fine. She's a big girl. She can do it. You all right? Okay. So, like I said, guys, super simple, but super effective. Once you get this in here, and you get it all sealed up, and you get it the way you want it, looking the way you want it, then... Uh, you can do whatever you want as far as uh okay that's what we got right there all right so now now i'm going to uh let that dry we're going to come back uh our little missy's uh, going to come back from our bathroom break then we're going to take a look at how uh, the next step for this thing so hang tight guys <laughs> Welcome back to the Weird Kitchen. All right, guys. So Haley, me and Haley went outside, didn't we? Yeah. And it's starting to rain. It's starting to get thunder out there and everything. But and I got, it's spiky. It's spiky because she didn't put her shoes on, and you're stepping on little rocks and things. But in the backyard, we got big cedar trees, and I went and collected up some branches. Hi. Hi. Haley's got a skeleton in hand, and. It's crude as heck, but all I did was uh, take some finishing nails and then uh, just made these little crude, uh, you know, it's just something that, for one, is to decorate, and two, it, it'll keep things from falling off the shelves and stuff, okay? So I think it adds to the aesthetics of it. And I went ahead and I cut because I liked that natural separation which you can see here and so I followed through with it and just stuck, shoved the scissors in there so almost like it's you know it's been rocked around this thing's old it's seen better days it's been around for a long time to get some age so now uh you got a skeleton hand what do we see what do you want to do with the skeleton hand hi nice to meet you do we want to try to put the skeleton hand somewhere no, you can put that there. Put it there? Yeah, we could put it there if we wanted to. So how does that look, guys? Does that look good there? Yeah. Maybe we'll stick the skeleton. You like it? Yep. Okay, well, one thing that I did want to do was, if you guys remember, we made this little uh, dollar store shelf. If you haven't uh, 
seen this video, uh, the link will be in the description. This is where I take the dollar store little wooden boxes and some craft foam and I make these creepy little drawers. Which, yeah, so you can take this too if you want and incorporate. So we, we finish this. <laughs> and so I think I think I'm gonna mount it right there, guys. Just to add to it. And uh, I don't know, let me see if I got, uh, it's not within reach maybe, but um, this might be tall enough for my perma blood right in here. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna utilize this. We're gonna use this. I might be able to put my sc some sculpting tools in there or whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue that in there, attach it. Maybe we'll put. What do you think, Haley? Do you think we'll put that? We got. You wanna put that skeleton? You wanna put that skeleton in there, Haley? Yeah, you're gonna break more of that off. Maybe we'll use that to uh, dress, like put little like little designs and uh, you know, stuff like that up here. Uh, and then we got room for our mortar and pestle in here if we wanted to use it as the apothecary scene. Um, so we got a lot of options here, guys. We'll fill it up with bottles and everything else. So we're gonna keep working on this thing. We're gonna come back and we're gonna see what it looks like. Right, Haley? Look, Daddy. That is cool. I think we're gonna use that, right? Where are we gonna put it? On we'll the put wall. it up. We'll put it up here on this side. We can put on the wall. Okay, on the wall. Okay. All right, guys, hang tight. All right, guys, and we're back. And this is what we got. This is what we're ending up with here. So yeah, we put them uh, cedar bushes that we had grown in the back. I cut some up and I just tacked them on there with um, some finishing nails. And it's all crude and everything, but uh, it adds a character to it. I like it. it. gives it an earthy, witchy feel to it there. And I put some accents over here. We got some of the creepy cloth hanging down. And then I just, uh, I attached the skeleton hand, just drilled a couple of holes. And then put some uh, finishing nails in it uh, to tack it. And then when I bent it over and tucked it in here, it get, the torque is holding it into place. So I didn't have to put any extra glue. And then we got the drawers and everything else. So now it's just a matter of your taste, how much you want to put into this. If you want to put creepy cloth on the side, if you want to build off from it, you can. I'm happy with this because I'm actually going to use it for supplies. But if you want to put bottles like Haley, you want to put those bottles on there, go ahead. You can put the store-bought bottles, like this one here. Oh, That's, this one, this one. Yeah, well, that one there, what's it say on that this one? This one is creepy. It's creepy? And it says, what's on? It says, what does it Halloween say? Halloween spooky drink. <laughs> it says, Haley says it says Halloween mm -hmm. spooky drink. This one here says unfiltered poison. All right, so you can put that one right there if you oh wanted God, to. One. You want to put that there? Okay. So you can put that one here. And there's one bottle and it's got an eyeball on it. Yep, so you could put that like in the floor and put your smaller stuff in the floor. You got another one? Yep. What are you going to put? And then, and then here on the top we've got some taller uh, spaces here. Uh, if you, you could attach another row of these little shelves in here. You put glass eyes, cabochons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like and that. then we could just start loading her up with the I, monster I, bottles. I, I, I you, know with the monster you want to help with the monster bottles? Okay, baby, you put put one of the monster that's bottles. That's mine. That's my tiny one. That's your tiny ones? Okay, you want to put it right there? Okay. And we're just going to load this thing up with all my creations. No and then I got this little guy here. Or, this is actually two bottles, guys. There's a bottle here, a no bottle one. here. Uh, so we got that, we can stick in there, and it's just a matter of taste, you know, uh, loading it up with what you guys want, what you, if you want this to be like a witch theme, then, uh, yeah, run with it, uh, or a mad scientist theme, you okay? I'm okay. Okay, and then you can put like herb, like her herbs and stuff like that, hanging, all kinds of concoctions and everything. There's so much you can do, and hey, it already, uh, it already looks uh, cool. That yeah, that's awesome. It looks great. Thank you for your help, Haley. Thank you. 
they can't hear it. Okay, we had to do it again. So even just throwing a few things in there already, guys, it's got some visually appealing. So imagine this uh, in your haunt at night with some lighting, maybe a red light or some kind of a colored light to give it some ambient, or even can like candlelight or something like that. Uh, it sets it off. So really simple, guys, and there's so many different ways you can do it, and. Uh, so many different directions you go but this is this is one way and um, I hope you try this at home I hope you enjoy this so and this week we have Haley for help I don't know if Haley's gonna be with us next week but uh, we are gonna be continuing and moving forward guys we've got so much to do this year from now until Halloween and beyond all right so anyways guys if you haven't done so go check out my brothers Keith from cobwebs and candlesticks and Vic Springston from Monster Misfits. And please like and subscribe. Nice. Uh, hit the bell. It's going to notify you yeah, when I upload. Eyeball challenge. Yes. And uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you. And until next time, peace. peace. You're the best assistant. I love working with you. Is this fun? Yeah. Yeah. Wet. You're wet.